Hey guys and welcome to this major tutorial. It's about the fake shot which might just be the best move in FIFA 15. I used at least 10 times per match for the first time ever I played a pro FIFA player and this method is used over and over by pros. I will upload that match later today. It takes a lot of time to generate tutorials and long ones like these take even longer to make so please leave a like and show your support. The fake shot is amazing in so many ways but let's start with the best thing about it. The best thing about the fake shot is that you can do it first touch, you do not need to control the ball first. As you can see before controlling the ball we do the fake shot and it's like a skill move before even controlling the ball first. We're facing to the left and we want to go to the right obviously to the goal and the fake shot is just an amazing tool to do it. A lot of people do the fake shot this way but the best way is to push the uh, square button with the top of your thumb and then press the X button with the other part of your thumb there and make it a smooth motion like this and that is the best way to actually do the fake shot and look at that Benzema with the quick stops also a method I'm gonna show you later and the fake shot is just so effective inside the box it's gonna get you a lot of goals and if you, if you haven't done this uh, method before then it's definitely gonna improve your game uh, a lot it can not only be done around the box, you can also use the fake shot even on this part of the field. Let's just test uh, if our opponent is capable of defending this. And it turns out he isn't and it's just an easy goal yet again. We can even sprint past the goalkeeper after a simple fake shot. So it looks like such an easy skill move, then why is the fake shot this good? Well look at Kadira, that is why the fake shot is such a great skill move. Because if you're not controlling the defender yourself, the AI will do absolutely nothing against the fake shot, which we can see right here. We can see in the bottom right of the screen that our opponent is controlling Macho and just a simple fake shot. And it looks like such, such a newbie skill move maybe, but in fact it is really one of the best skill moves because it's going to get you easy goals over and over. And the best thing is that you can do it first touch. And the other good thing about it is that you can do it when the ball is bouncing. So sometimes even after a lob through ball we can see that the left uh, square or the left X on the ground is on the perfect position so we could do actually a first time fake shot after a lob through ball and that is the great thing about the fake shot you can do it first touch that is the most important thing but you can also do it when the ball is bouncing which is a welcome addition to the already great skill move. Uh, after the lob through ball you cannot always do the fake shot very rarely actually but as you can see when that yellow when that yellow X on the ground is on the perfect position you can actually do a first time fake shot after a lob through ball. The fake shot is also a great method to set up for other skill moves. You can lure them to the right here and then for example use the drag back to go back to the left. The fake shot is amazing in combination with the drag back. You lure them to downwards here and then do the drag back back uh, up. So it's a first time, you do not even control the ball a single time. Uh, it's fake shot and then another skill move. So that's like two skill moves without even controlling the ball. And that makes it very hard to defend. Up and down again, sneak a true ball and that's an amazing goal. For more information about this, check out my drag back tutorial. Or also check out the wiggle tutorial. Because uh, some clips of this uh, tutorial are even in my wiggle tutorial. The best combination uh, in FIFA at all is the fake shot to body feint. It is the best kill move combo because the fake shot, you can do that first touch and then after that accelerate with a deadly body feint, the fake shot and set up the body feint there. And this is the best combination in FIFA 15. The best kill move in the entire game is the body feint and combined with the fake shot, uh, it is very, very amazing indeed. And you can also obviously use the fake shot to set up other skill moves, for example the spin here. But for more information about the body feint and the fake shot to body feint, check out my body feint tutorial. It's really worked very well. It is the best, uh, the best skill move in FIFA 15. But let's talk about the next section now, which I call the 30, because it's a 30 degree fake shot. The great thing about it is that you hardly lose any of your momentum. You keep almost the perfect speed. Uh, and we can see that with the 30 degree fake shot we can also beat goalkeeper here the first time 30 degree fake shot to body feint really people do check out the body feint tutorial that is the best combo in FIFA 15 and here we can see that the 30 degree fake shot again comes to help because we do not lose speed and therefore we can pass players and keep on running and here again we beat the goalkeeper with the first time 30 degree fake shot again the first time fake shot to body feint turn people also check out my wiggle tutorial the body feint turn the fake shot to body feint turn is in there and again we do get a goal because of that 
We need a long pass to bail. The ball is bouncing. We have only one option. We need to use the fake shot. And we use the 30 degree fake shot to beat the goalkeeper there. Let's talk about the 150 now. And please, people, this is one of the best and underused ways of using the fake shot. Uh, this is an example. This is not the uh, situation I meant with the best way to use it. But it's also a good way to use it. You can see the player going left. We're going to use just a 150 degree fake shot uh, to get to the goal and score it. And a very good way to use it is actually this. When you're just walking one way and you anticipate that the, your the opponent is going to follow you. And just use a 150 degree fake shot and you're going to beat them over and over again. And maybe in this example we're going to see that the defender of our opponent is directly behind us. But it doesn't matter. Just use the fake shot. Uh, we can see that our opponent wasn't controlling that player. And therefore he's going to have to pay for that. You're going to have to defend yourself. Or you're going to receive uh, ugly easy goals maybe over and over because of the fake shot. And this is the situation I meant in which I use the 150 degree fake shot a lot. If your opponent is just going up just use a simple fake shot. And the AI will not help him with turning. He has to do it all by himself. And if he can't, if he cannot uh, defend that well, then you're going to get goals over and over with this method. We can use even use a double 150 degree fake shot. Just look at that. We almost go through defenders. It looks like our opponent is defending uh, very badly. Maybe he's running to the right with that player. But that's what happens. You really have to be at the top of the level to defend the fake shot. And let's talk to the 180 now. It is, as I suggest, a 180 degree fake shot. The great thing about this is, in my opinion, uh, to use it as a first touch method. Because the 180 degree fake shot is very, very quick, as you can see. And it's going to get you a lot of easy goals. But in uh, like the 150 is great also when you're walking. When you're walking one way and then use the 150 to uh, take a good turn. Uh, but the 180 is really, really good uh, for first touch uh, methods. Of course, you can also use it when uh, walking already, as you can see here. Already control the ball and then use the 180. But I suggest uh, that the 150 in those situations is definitely better. Now the 90, only a small section uh, left. And the ball is bouncing. And obviously, we want to go through that gap and get a goal in. But the ball is bouncing. So therefore, we have only one option. We use the 90 degree fake shot and get through that little gap. And it's going to get you goals when no other skill move can come to aid. The fake shot can because the ball is bouncing here again. And we use the fake shot. And of, of course the goalkeeper is also going to be confused after a fake shot. And here we see the body fin turn. Uh, the fake shot to body fin turn. And look at that. We need, we need the 90 degree fake shot there. Because it was a first touch skill move. And the fake shot is almost the only skill move. Uh, which can do first touch consistently. And now the last section, the zero, also definitely worked a well. Uh, Bill here with an amazing action. And he passed it to Benzema. And we can see that Boateng is approaching. And this is also one of the best ways to use the fake shot. Just use a zero degree fake shot to abuse this momentum to the maximum. We're going to see some more examples of that. Diego Costa here with a nice advanced drag back. And Quadrado is going to get the ball. And you abuse the momentum of Mascherano there with the first touch. Zero degree fake shot. And how about that sneaky true ball? But I played the pro FIFA player for the first time ever yesterday. If you want to see that match, let me know if you want to see a compilation of that. Or if you want to see the full match. Generating tutorials like this, 10 minutes long, takes a very long time to make. So please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This was Suti. See you next time.